I've never really thought about food and literature in the same, <laughs> you know. But I, I guess that when people sit down for kai, they also like kōrero with the kai. Mm. And so literature is, is, is part of that important kōrero too. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to join you in this one. So this is a little snack. It's a little pani puri. So it's an Indian, it's almost like a little dry pita bread that when you deep fry puffs up and we smash a hole in it. We thought we'd love something that's round and sort of encompasses the earth. And then there's some smoked kumara um, hummus in there. So the chickpeas mm. and smoked kumara that we smoke here over Manuka. Mm -hmm. And some garlic yogurt and then some dehydrated olives. So it's a little vegetarian punchy mouthful. Then you've got the ikamata. So we wanted to pay homage to our Cook Island friends. So it's um, grated coconut with a bit of coconut yogurt. There's some trevally from the Hauraki Gulf. Mm bit of chili jelly, curry leaves orange, little wafer um, uh, made from sago and dried chili flakes and then the power up from the Chatham Islands, cream power. This, we love this, it's just, I think it's really good and it's on uh, toasted ciabatta from Dusty Apron here in Auckland. So this is, your, this will be what the guests are going to experience when they come along. Tell me, when you were thinking about the menu, what sort of inspired you about making these sort of lovely choices? Well, we thought, we were trying to think of what would sort of represent, in my mind, and, and in Homeland's mind, sort of some kai, some Maori kai, and we looked at our menu, we thought, what do, what do we have on our menu? Here we have the kumara, here we have the pawa, here we have the raw fish, and so we just wanted it to be something light and punchy, just something a bit whimsical, this is quite a little pop in your mouth vibe because we're wanting people to um, be able to go from here and walk to the Auckland Theatre Company and to be on good belly not too yes. full not yes. too hungry and be able to sit there and just go ooh. But it's there. a nice balance right? Nice balance. Lovely kai and then to have kai further down yes. of a different sort yes. down at the theatre right? Yeah. Are these black these pebbles? These are just little pebbles yeah these are oh. from the garden centre. So, garden centre. Lovely you know, so not eat that. <laughs> don't eat that yeah. Unless you're off to the dentist afterwards. Oh, thank yeah. You. yeah. Well, in the original production of um, Witty's Wahine, at the very end, there's the clicking stones. Is that the same still? It's still the same. Still the same. So, when did you and Nancy create Harpai Company? Mm. We um, decided to work, to collaborate in 2013. And that's when we. Um, that's when we created Harpai Productions, but actually we'd been working together since I'd been at Takirua back in 2000, yeah, in 2000 is when we started working. Mm. Nancy was always the boss, you know, while I was at drama school, which is very much in the olden days. She was always the tuakana in those days and nothing changed really, mm. all those years later. This is Hangi Pork Belly. Um, and we brine it here, and Rui Spragan, a great mate, yes. takes it to his hangi pits in uh, Tihenga, yeah. in Bethel's Beach, so he cooks them and then brings them back. You have some kumara that we steam, and this kumara is from Papatua Nuku Kokori Marae, um, and we steam it and then we roast it. We make a pesto out of kawakawa and hazelnuts from Canterbury, and we've got some broccolini uh, here, and so that would be your main course. The, with Homeland, what we, we, we see this as everyone's homeland and we want, we believe in people joining together create more strength than, you know, the, the pursuit yeah. of the solo necessarily. Well, what I also like is that this reminds me of the mana of, of, of Māori women, you know, in our area, in Gisborne. There were so many women, and they weren't just women who stood tall on the marae, they were also women who went out onto the kumara patch and you know, and and created these wonderful, wonderful um, opportunities for us. And when I was a young boy, my grandmother used to sing a particular kumara song. It goes, "Po po e tangi ana tama kite kai mana wai home e tiki a ke kite po a hokai hei a mai te pa ka ke ki utara." On and on and on for about five or five minutes or more. 
And it was always about the whakapapa of the kumara and where it came from, who were, were the people who were involved in the history of it. And, you know, it was supposed to send me to sleep, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it never did. I was so excited by the romance of the saga of the coming of the kumara to Aotearoa. Here you go, dessert. And this story, this is my mother's pavlova recipe. We've got uh, a passion fruit curd. We've got kawa kawa again. We've made a kawa kawa cream. We blitz the kawa kawa leaves with sugar and then toasted coconut. So that's your pudding. Do you have a sweet tooth? I, I have a I don't. terrible sweet tooth. I don't know how you can look at you, skinny man. Oh it's my not fair. God. Mm. I'm sure everyone will enjoy this. What an awesome meal. Thank you. Mm. To the Auckland Theatre Company, to Homelands, to Denizen. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. Thank you. Wonderful. Yum.